Hey guys, George at Soundtracks here, and today's operational tip is going to involve cabooses and what sounds can they make. Now with our sound car decoder, we are very familiar with the clickety clack and the flange squeal and the brake squeal and the brake release sounds that you'll hear as you operate your train around with the sound cars. But one of the unique features of the caboose was a lot of times they were always on the tail end. So already with our sound car decoder, there's four lighting functions. So you can do the flashing rear end train device. But with sound, we can now implement one extra element of the operation. When a locomotive or a train would be finished doing their switching at one end of the railroad, a lot of times they had to shove that cut of cars back to either get to the yard or back to a main track where they can Y the locomotive or Y the train and get back to the yard or the terminal. So what they would have to do is then they would put the caboose on the head end of the train while the locomotive was on the back. As the train went through the tracks, of course they still encountered grade crossings. So with that, the conductor would stand on the platform of the caboose. He would tie into the airline and he would blow a air whistle. And this way the railroad was still FRA compliant when crossing grade crossings for the warning device. So with our sound car, we can take our whistle, in this case, and we're going to blow our grade crossing sequence. So as our locomotive is pushing this car down the track, now you're still compliant. So again, it gives you that extra element of real world operations into the sound and operation of your layout. Now this whistle is changeable. So by simply changing CV 115 in our sound car, in this case, we're going to change it to a value of one. And we heard that acknowledgement cowbell sound. So now when I blow the whistle, you hear a different sound. Now this is in all of our sound car decoders. So be sure to check that out, try it out. And if you have any questions, visit our website at soundtracks.com. Check out the sound car user's guide or give us a call or an email. We'll be happy to help.